Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hi, I am Larand and uh, yes, we are on an alt character today. <laughs> so I did the merchant video earlier today and uh, I thought, yeah, I saw a rod that I wanted because this character is kind of weak and also kind of poor. <laughs> so as you can see, I don't have that much coins. I don't have that much gems and I have zero charge. So you gotta do something about about it so we're gonna do shard quest yes and also if you take a look at uh, <laughs> i have some uh, fishes from easter but uh, if you take a look at my inventory when it comes to the rod skins i don't have a mythic rod the best one that i have is this one that was from a quest during easter and uh, i thought we might uh, want to get ourselves an upgrade and currently we have an upgrade we are on a timer so we need to do at least one shard quest before this time runs out and uh, the rod that we're gonna try to get is uh, the ancient sword it comes at the price of 10 shards so any shard quest that i will succeed or hopefully succeed with i will be able to get a nice upgrade so let's go over to reagan ah yes reagan so here is where you get the shard quests if you didn't know that already so you have the hourly that's the gems and then you have the weekly and if you switch to that one you can see three shard quests and uh, it doesn't really matter which quest we do we just take every single quest that we can receive and uh, let's take a look what it requires so we have Finding Nemo and uh, we need to have a little bit of better background here. <laughs> so it's simply just search for clownfish. You need to collect 75 clownfish and then you're done with the quest. That one is pretty interesting and it's doable for everyone. Uh, we have the Reagan special. This requires 20 sunfish, 20 bluefish, 20 tigerfish, 20 rockfish, 20 starfish and 15 stingray. That is quite a lot of mythical fish. And uh, with my rod and the, <laughs> the rarity chance, it's gonna be a challenge to do this quest. It also requires me to travel in all zones because uh, the toughest one is starfish. It requires level 40, luckily, as you can see, I am level 40, so I'm still able to do this quest. But if you haven't been able to reach level 40, this quest is not for you. And then you have actually finding Nemo and friends. Here, it requires five baby starfish. This is tough. One huge stingray. Here you can get lucky. And you have 10 baby clownfish. So if you're lucky, you could actually get get a few baby clownfishes when you are doing Finding Nemo. But uh, the probability that I will get 10 of them is not really like it's gonna happen because ba baby size and huge size fishes are difficult to get that I already know and uh, yeah I haven't really got any bonuses <laughs> to play around with. Uh, we can also check what kind of pet I have. I have one pet. It's this one. So a little bit more reeling speed and only 1% bait size. But this is at least something. So it's something that I have to live with. Maybe we can actually get, we can actually buy ourselves one more pet to see if we get an option. Just imagine if I get lucky. Do you think I will be lucky? Let's see. So open up one royal egg. So I had this uncommon <laughs> pirate turtle and uh, it's not really that good. Let's see. Here we go. So we had a parrot and uh, yeah, that one is even worse. <laughs> so that's one and a half thousand wasted and I can't afford another egg. So yes, that was it. We have to use the pirate turtle basically. Here we go. Here is nugget. <laughs> Perfect. But also when you are doing these shard quests, here is a great opportunity to combine everything because if you focus on basically, just pretend that you are of a higher level and you can really go for everything, just focus on the tough ones because if you aim to get 10 baby clownfish, I am sure that you will have 75 ordinary regular clownfish before you get 10 baby clownfish. So that's just the way it is. And when you are focusing also on the clownfish, keep in mind when you fish that in the same water you have the sunfish. So when you fish, go get the sunfish while you are at it because, I mean, you are already out in the ocean. So grab the opportunity. And then we have also another scenario here. So you need to fish ocean fish. Then it doesn't really matter what kind of level you are. And what matters is that you need to have a boat. Because if you don't have a boat you can't get ocean fish. And uh, that also brings me 
to another topic. Currently, the past week, there has been some issues with boats. I've seen players having problems to leave the docks. They go out in the ocean and they get teleported back to the docks. <laughs> and so, so basically, they can't use boats. And yeah, what are you gonna do if you can't use boats? And sometimes you, none on the server can spawn boats. This has also been uh, something that has occurred many times the past week. Uh, so yeah, there is a solution for this. So this was actually mentioned by GamerGuy4425. <laughs> so a little bit of a shout out to him. So, But he gave a suggestion how to actually get ocean fish when you can't use boats. And uh, the solution for that is, yeah, you see it over there, the volcano. <laughs> yes, sounds strange. But uh, actually, when you are on top of the volcano, you can fish normal ocean fish from there so you don't need a boat <laughs> so you can just go there go by balloon that's the easiest and fastest way regardless what kind of boat you have so we're just gonna climb the volcano and uh, check it out yes and here we have it a lot of smoke but it doesn't matter because you can get ocean fish from here and i think that's a good solution when you encounter a server that <laughs> new fish variation I haven't fished a lot on this character I can tell you that much <laughs> but regardless that if you don't have a boat or the boats are not working that you can't spawn it on the server because yeah some random strange bug appears here is your location you can stand up here instead I get new fish variation all the time and something I also didn't mention when I started this video. This character has not a single game pass, so it's totally blank. If you go to the store, as you can see, I have purchased nothing on this character. So everything is as difficult as it can be. <laughs> so that's going to be also very interesting to see if we can actually do a shard quest. Uh, we're not going to do that quest. We're going to do this one because I'm going to show you another thing. We will just skip through this SFA quest line and I will just show you in the end what I want to show you. Uh, so what I wanted to show you here is that you can actually fish ocean fish inside this SFA area as well. So what you need to do is to climb this wall. Let's see if we can do that. You need to go up here. Slowly but surely. <laughs> and let's see if we can. So I just keep jumping all the time and I will move slowly up here. And then you reach this position. And here... You can fish ocean fish also. Uh, so you aim for this waterfall. And uh, when you fish here. You can also get ocean fish. As you can see. That's another way of, of getting ocean fish. If you don't have or can use a boat. But uh, yeah this one is more complicated. Because it requires you to do and unlock this SFA area. So the easiest way is to just go up in the top of the volcano and fish the ocean fish from there. If the server won't allow you to spawn a boat or if uh, you don't even own a boat. But now in my situation I'm gonna <laughs> spend the gems that I have. I have already started to upgrade the rarity on the rod but uh, it still can be better. So we're gonna reset and we're gonna go to fin supplies and check it out. It requires a lot of gems to upgrade the rarity of the rod but the benefit is that regardless what rod you will use you will always have this upgrade so I think it's if you go from the lowest level up to the maximum level it's around a little bit over 10,000 gems I think to get all the way up to level 50. I am currently at level 18 and I got 982 gems so we're gonna spend it all and see how many more percent we will get. It's not gonna be that much but it's gonna be a little bit at least so we're down to nine gems <laughs> awesome but uh, we also gained uh, six percent more in rarity chance which is great i think it's percent at least it's level 24 now it was level 18 so a little bit better 
And the clownfish, if we check it out on the fish index, go down to ocean. Uh, <laughs> I haven't even catched a single clownfish, but it's rare. It's a <laughs> the rarity is rare of a clownfish. So we're gonna <laughs> fish 75 of them. And I currently haven't ever seen one, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, but we may be gonna use some others' boat with some benefits from them instead. So I see some boat activity going on over there. I see a Marianne, that's good. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. And uh, that might be reaching ocean, so we're gonna check it out. See if we are allowed to enter it. I have my fishing boat. It's uh, painfully slow. <laughs> it's like it's broken or something. Nothing happens when I accelerate. But yeah, okay. Oh, the Marianne is gone. That's a, <laughs> that's a loss. It doesn't matter. We can use this one. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna go out where the sharks are. So we're gonna travel over here instead. God, it's slow. Not even the lights work properly. Disco lights in the back of this boat. I don't know why, but <laughs> we're gonna turn it off. So, I think we are at ocean right now. So we're not too close to Moby Wood if he spawns. We're not too close to the shark if they are nearby. And uh, hopefully we won't get like uh, an epic or mythic shipwreck underneath us. So we will get a attacked by sharks and orcas because then we're toast so uh, yes this will be the location now we just need to fish 75 clownfish and the way i'm gonna do it is that i will use this technique so when i fish i throw it into the water like that and i will lower the camera underneath this water texture so i can see what fish it, that is about to get on the hook so we had the legendary fish here, but we're not going to catch that one. We're just going to wait for the clownfish. The benefit with this boat is that it has great hook speed, meaning that uh, you don't have to wait that long until you get a new fish on the bobber, which is great, especially when you're searching for a specific kind of fish. Another legendary. <laughs> yeah, uh, so and that's an epic one. We're gonna get an ordinary rare one, the clownfish. Let's see how long it takes until I actually get one. I'm gonna need 75, so that's gonna take a while, but it's gonna be worth it, because I'm gonna get a mythic rod. I'm not gonna be able to spend coins on a silver chest at this level. I got 2.4k coins. It's not even a single chest, so this is definitely gonna be worth it. I might even take some of these mythic fishes and legendary ones, if they show up again, because that's great income when I come back to port. Then I can just sell them. And also something <laughs> that is worth the mention here, my backpack space. 25 out of 80 right now. That means that I will have a full backpack before I'm gonna be done. So I expect myself to travel a little bit back and forth between Port Jackson to sell and back here to the boat. But it's gonna be fairly okay because I will just do a reset and then I will jump back with the orb. And uh, yeah, clownfish, where are you? <laughs> this is gonna take a while, I realize that. And that's why I'm not gonna chase 10 baby-sized clownfishes also, because I don't have time for that, really. I'm just gonna choose the simplest one for now, because I'm so low level, I have no game passes, I even don't have good gear, so... I think 75 clownfish, that is at least doable, but it's gonna test my patience. <laughs> it's gonna test my patience for sure. Ah, uh, here we have one. The first one of today. New fish variation. Yeah, of course. It was the first clownfish ever. Awesome. So, 74 more to go. And we can also have it, of course, as a tracker. So we're gonna go finding Nemo. And as you can see, collected one out of 75. And what you can do here, since you can't carry 75 fishes when you already have 27, you can deliver parts of it, basically. Which is great, because then you get uh, more space in the backpack and you have also delivered something, so that's awesome. I'm gonna see what did we actually get. We got a large and a small one. Perfect. So there will be a little bit of a time lapse here again, I suppose. Yes, and here we are again. So we have finally managed to get 75 clownfishes. Uh, what did surprise me though was that I actually got uh, 
seven baby-sized uh, clownfishes, so that is really good actually. But I'm gonna return them as well just for this ordinary clownfish quest. Otherwise, I will always recommend that if you do multiple quests at the same time, which I think you should do, uh, always lock the fishes that are the hardest one to get. Because if you don't lock them and do one of the easier quests, such as this one with uh, just the ordinary clownfish, <laughs> this dude, Reagan, he will steal your valuable fish. He will take the baby clownfish away from you and you will have to catch them all over again. So don't do that. Don't because that is a pain then you have to redo everything so keep that in mind but uh, for now we're gonna unlock the remaining baby sized clownfishes like this and uh, here you can see take your items back to Reagan. and that's what we're gonna do because I am gonna get my first 20 shards <laughs> it's an epic moment uh, we're not gonna browse more jobs and uh, let's see didn't it, re didn't it return it what happened? Oh no, did he steal them? It's a thief. Oh no. <laughs> Let me check. Did it did it count on actually finding Nemo now instead? Oh yeah, it did. Take a look at that one. What? <laughs> what a failure. All right. So, uh, yeah, they ended up in the wrong quest. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> So, I'm just going to go back and grab seven more clownfishes, I guess. So, be right back again. Okay, so now we have done it again. Uh, we have seven more clownfishes and we're gonna do this. We're gonna get our first 20 shards. I'm, I'm, I've really worked a lot. So let's see. Completed. Quest completed. Finding Nemo. Great. I don't want more jobs. I'm done with this. <laughs> so let's go check the quests. And as you can see, I can claim reward. Just claim it. I got 20 shards. And I'm gonna get myself a rod upgrade that is super exciting and i won't need to spend any <laughs> coins on that chest i can save that for boats which is awesome so let's see wandering merchant i've already done a video of you earlier today actually so we're gonna skip the details here it is ancient sword reeling speed 20 percent rarity chance 30 percent price of 10 charge give it to me so my new alt character has now a skin, it's a mythic skin. The first mythic rod that I have on the character. And uh, yes, it's already equipped also. Perfect, nice upgrade. And I also made a lot of money during this adventure. So I'm gonna get myself a new pet. And I'm fairly sure that I'm gonna get something better than the one that I have. <laughs> because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but... Uh... Yeah, you, you're not any good, Nugget. <laughs> Sorry. You're gonna get replaced. I wonder what I will get. Uh, hopefully a lava pet at least. But uh, even better would be a mythic pet, of course. But uh, this is the first step that I have taken on this character now. To get the charge. And also how to get great improvements early on in the game. Because... You can't really have it all from the very first beginning. So these other quests, I can't do them right now. Or I could probably do them. It's just I, I don't really have that amount of time to spend. Uh, but uh, seeing how many baby-sized clownfishes I did get, seven, that is quite a lot. So I would say the other quests, they are perfectly doable as well. It's just, uh, eh, <laughs> it has taken many, many hours to do this video. So we're just going to be happy with what we have. So we still also have 10 shards left. So maybe something in the future, we can build up a better stack of shards. So we can get even more items on a different Sunday. Who knows? We will just have to see. So let's just check what kind of pet we will get. So I'll get back to you when I'm done with this. I'm gonna probably spend the most money that I have on this royal egg. Be right back. Yay, hold your, <laughs> hold your horses. We got a mythic parrot. Nice. We got it. Excellent. Yes. Massive upgrade. 5% rarity chance, 5% mutation chance, 5% bait size, 5% hook speed. Equip it. What's the name? 
I want to see the name. Acorn. <laughs> Perfect. You're gonna stay with me. All right. Excellent. That made me really happy. But as you can see, this is how we work towards to making a good progress. And we got a new rod skin. It's a really good rod. It will help me a lot. I also got a great pet upgrade now as uh, as a consequence of fishing a lot in the ocean. Because I kept all the mythical fish and I sold them. We still have 150... What do I have? 156,000. So I can get myself a briefcase. Now that would be nice. Full of cash. Yeah, I should maybe have a briefcase. Backpack space 140. That's 60 more than I have today. And uh, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's good. So just by doing that single shard quest at the low level. I got myself a new rod. I got myself a new pet. And I got a bag full of cash. <laughs> awesome. Uh, not gonna take a look at any boats or anything like that at this moment. But uh, yeah, maybe in the future. Who knows? But uh, yeah. In any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video if you'd like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Please subscribe and uh, yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.